Hello and welcome to week three of Hamped Up. I'm your host, Connor McClendon, and this week I talked to Megan McCarthy about the field hockey team who faces a tough challenge in Frontier this Friday. I'm here with Megan McCarthy and we are here to talk about the field hockey team. So the field hockey program at Northampton, you guys are off to a fast start this year and this mm -hmm. is a program that's been good for a really long time. So what do you think it is about the program here about the Northampton that keeps it successful year after year? I think we have a really great group of girls who are wicked athletic and are willing to put in a lot of hard work and are willing to take the time to really focus on like what skills they need to do to like improve themselves but also like improve us as a team. I think that's something that um, our coach has been like really adamant about and I think that's really like helped us become the team that we've we are today. So where does this team hope to finish by the end of the season? Obviously I'm assuming you have Western high Mass. Yeah. <laughs> Western Mass. Um, we've been finalists the last two years and we haven't come home with a win but we've made it pretty far the last few years and that's that's the goal this year. <laughs> And so you're a three-sport athlete. I'm sure we'll have you back here for basketball yeah. <laughs> and for lacrosse. So do you like that? Do you like playing year-round? I love sport? playing year-round. I don't know what I would do if I didn't play a sport. I think it really helps um, not only with just staying in shape, but also like making connections with people. Well, thank you so much for being here this week, and thank good luck you. this season. Thank you. In other sports news, both the boys' and girls' cross-country teams won on senior night against Minichog. The girls' soccer team faced a couple of setbacks and fell to third place in their league. The boys' soccer team is also third in their league, and they will take on last place Chicopee Comp this Friday. Finally, the golf team sits in last place, and the football team picked up a big 12-7 victory over South Hadley on the road last week, but lost a couple of key players as both running back Nick Smith and wide receiver Andy Gregor Sevich went down with injuries. Both players need surgery and could potentially miss the rest of the season.